Evidence right there. Well, you know, he looks like he's going to be a, a player for quite a while in the alliance. So I'm going to have to give him a nickname. <laughs> Keeps it away from the defense and finishes well at the rim. A lot of substitutions for both sides after that first stretch. And Coleman Hawkins coming in and bringing some energy on defense. Points all year into tonight. Now watch Georgie. He's going to throw this ball to Trent Frazier. And then he's like, oh, no, nope. I see Coleman wide open. Underneath the bucket. By Lundy and Dredd. We need more from each of them. And there's a nice pass inside. No goals in. They say a clean block by Hawkins. But he looks dialed in early on tonight. Two-point game. Nebraska up on the drive. Coleman Hawkins with the take through the first eight minutes. And Eduardo Andre in there to give Derek Walker Jr. a break. And they're going to have to provide some double help on Kofi Coleman. How about Coleman Hawkins? Yeah. Last couple of possessions, really outstanding utilization of the pass fake. Got the defense moving one way, allowing Hawkins to step into that corner. Down <laughs> after us getting our, you know what, handed to us. <laughs> Down the lane, another slam. This time it's the freshman Coleman Hawkins. Love a good worm burner with spring training opening, by the way. Illinois got orange jerseys everywhere defensively. Hawkins looking for help. And that is Zach Griffith, the senior from Fisher, Illinois, a walk-on who got a start. 19 points per game. There's some energy back. And that's too strong off the heel of the rim. Couple of good looks there for the Red Wolves. Coach Blood is not going to be happy, but Coach Brad certainly is with that one. We haven't had any other star performers. There is Coleman Hawkins getting in on the action. Arkansas State led the Sun Belt Conference in three-point shooting. Here's Curbelo for a try. That hangs around the rim. Followed by Hawkins, counted in a foul. Frazier, good dish. Hawkins slam and the foul. He'll try to make it a three-point play the old-fashioned way. In I mean, they'll advise three the play before. This is where you like him more. It's just a higher percentage. Not saying he can't knock. Illinois out of sorts. Williams trying to tie it. No. Offensive rebound and an easy putback. Look what I found. Coleman Hawkins. And these are situations where Shaka Smart has to say, you know what? Again, we have to go grab the ball. He, he talked about it a couple of timeouts ago. And I saw a 15-point lead cut down to two. Uh oh Hawkins! saw an open lane and does what he does so well with that flush but it is called a foul now the red sea of cincinnati just parts andre curbelo has been really good off the screens and he's found open teammates so it's a really interesting way to be intentional as a coach as we look at the back cut right there no ball screen needed on that play and they need to get some ball movement before entering the ball into the post it's difficult just to go high low without really any action prior that's five Illinois turnovers thus far. No turnover that time. Coleman Hawkins with the flush. UTRGV lead. With 10 15 to go in the first half. Hawkins, a lot of contact. <laughs> Let the guy go over the top of him and then score. That's pretty good patience for Coleman it, Hawkins. And a lot of it's going to be pointing, too. You can non verbalize it. Look out. On the lob, Frazier to Hawkins. Well, Coleman Hawkins, a tough first half. Here you see it, swings the basketball, back screen set. If you're Paul Atkinson, you're guarding Kofi Cover. And Robbie, his touches here in the first 10 minutes have probably been lower than they'd like. Can't argue with the score. Tie it for Rutgers. Coleman Hawkins is doing a heck of a job. To try to get a high-low situation for Coburn, right? Oh, excellent read. Corner for Jacob Grandison to hit the three. In ball screens get busy. And it's hard to play slow when that's the case. Grandison, an excellent three ball shooter on the wing. RJ Melendez with the rebound to the trailing Hawkins. And Bosman's for John puts it in plus one. And he's been a constant with this Illini program. Oh, now think of how that display is going to look this next year when he's got a little retirement time to work on that. Great point. Coleman Hawkins. Let's hope that game happens. Oh, yeah. That'll be a lot of fun to watch. No doubt about it. Oh, what a, Hawkins, what a feed to Coburn for the easy two. Wow. Courtney Green, we got three good ones. You still have to go defend Kofi Coburn, so careful. Hawkins counted in one. 
Coburn's doing his job. Look at that ball fake. It's old man fake. That's good stuff. Right now, you got Coleman Hawkins out there who's playing at the four. Omar paying the five. You're going to have to run your stuff. But defense to offense. I mean, both ends of the floor. And a heck of an assist by R.J. Melendez. Mulcahy finding Amori wide open. What a block! Coleman Hawkins. The versatility of the bigs these days. I mean, Joel Embiid. You think about Bam out of Bio, Anthony Davis. Wow, what a block. What a block. And Hall is still down. Here's Arms. And he threw it away. Yeah. Got caught in the air on that one. Hawkins. The slide through. Bounces that one around and in. Eight point game. We approach three minutes to go. First half. Swing it. Nice Hawkins. ball fake. Doesn't take the three. Walk the shot. Shuffle the feet. Oh! <laughs> big finish. Goodness. <laughs> Coleman Hawkins. Attack mode. How about him? The quick, Ugh. lots of it. How about this? Little extra effort. Big time sending in a little rejoice for the Alana. That was like Connie Hawkins. <laughs> hey, good call. Murray looks to counter. Ahead of the pack, Perkins. Gets his shot blocked. Gets it back. Bank shot, no. Loose and Hawkins has it. These guys are giving the Orange Crush a lot to cheer about. Watch the Illini fly around. Coleman Hawkins coming out of nowhere. One of the best players Illinois has ever seen. Hawkins got an open look from three, and he'll splash it down. His second of the afternoon. A little more of that emotion as well. 18 to shoot. Crossover. Lost it. Coburn found it. Illinois has got numbers if they hurry. Curbelo only knows how to hurry. Hawkins for three. So what I'm watching early from the Illini is whether they can communicate adequately. You take Trent Frazier out, Alfonso Plummer, some other guys. Good back cut there by Matthew Meyer. And Kofi Coburn, almost 21 and 11 last year. Just a phenomenal season. Two-time first-team All-Big Ten selection. Five seconds to shoot for the Illini, and Coleman Hawkins is going to have to fire up the three. Just how he drew it up, right? It's funny when that happens. There's a freedom in taking that shot. Melendez in the trap here on Andrews, and he gets the steal. Here's Hawkins, and Hawkins throws it down! Here we got the good trap, the discipline, they make the mistake, and now he's got a little bit of an angle, and he slams it down. What a league for volleyball. I'm telling you. Oh, Hawkins with a steal. Highlight coming up. Exercise some demons right there. Denying the play, reading it beautifully, and then coming through with a highlight finish. Terrence Shannon missing the layup after Childs missed a three from straight away. But back comes Lindy Wood, stolen away by Sky Clark to Terrence Shannon. Shannon underneath the layup. Boy, he's rapidly improved over four seasons. Here's Mintz, has it stolen away by Hawkins. And Hawkins gives it up. With the At Illinois, needed to change there the culture go. when he took over and did just that in a short amount of time. Danger. Still powerful, able to muscle that one in. Now Maryland going with their press into the 2-3 zone. They're, they're going to mix and match defenses. Hawkins from way behind the arc, and he knocks it down, and we're tied at three. And Brad Underwood finished shooting shoot around by saying, we will get every 50-50 ball. We will be the team that hustles, but it's been Maryland so far. Hawkins rejects it out of bounds, five on the shot clock. Not a good play by Sky Clark. He's just showing the ball, taking it into too much trouble where their help defenders. Great pass. But there was no pressure on Coleman Hawkins. have to protect it. And then Hawkins out top. That's there's no pressure on him at all from Tyrese Hunter. Eight points now for Seth Lundy. Penn State back up by two. Hawkins to Clark. That's just such a smart play by Sky Clark using Coleman Hawkins, who's the passer. Hicks, their leading scorer, came up short, looking for a second three. Evans back in. Alabama a and has slowed the game down a little bit on this end of the floor. Nice feed down low, but the rejection on the backside. And he, he picks and chooses his spots well. 
the star players for Bethune Cookman as the three goes up in the corner and drops down. RJ Melendez joining the three point party. Why not? Trying to utilize. Oh, Danger on the finish after the lob. Everyone's getting involved tonight. This time Hawkins will take it. Missed from there a moment ago. He hits that one. You're right, Brandon. This is pretty similar to the last shot, but here in the pick and pop has plenty of room. That shot clock winding down again. And Shannon finding his way to Epps. Another drive at Hepburn. Hawkins a deep three. Got it. It's simple. It's just not good enough. He lets it go and right back at you, playing off two feet. Coleman Hawkins, very experienced squad. So taking away the three-point line, especially on the road, is going to be paramount for Indiana. Hawkins off the bench. And the throwdown for Coleman Hawkins. Goodness. Let's go back to a little shot fake. And Coleman Hawkins just attacking. Shot fake, the flyby. No question what he was going to do with it. Really athletic play by Coleman Hawkins. Darren Shannon Jr. should be fresh right now. We know how aggressive he is. I know he's been out a long time, but get him a touch. Instead, it's Hawkins knocking down the triple. The best players come up big when they're needed most right here. Deep. What do you want this possession if you're in a line, I think? Ball movement. How about that? Is that good enough for you? That's pretty good. Dribble penetration. Well, you see the backdoor cut by Coleman Hawkins. Beautiful feed. Here's McNeil. His shot no good. Coleman Hawkins the board. Pushes it up ahead. The outlet. Melendez off the glass. It's a terrific pass from Hawkins looking up the floor. Myron, I know you had a conversation with Coach Holton. And what did he tell you? He was clear. He said, we got to stop fouling. 11 for 13. Illinois was in the first half from the free throw line. Said they've got to hit their free throws and they get opportunities as well. Young man from Estonia on the drive. Lost his defender. Meyer went down. And Hawkins redirected it to Racine. Well, the positive thing for Wisconsin, if they're not able to have this comeback today, that they'll have opportunities in the Big Ten. Ooh. Coleman Hawkins. Lethal shot from the baseline. Fabulous for them. I think Lawrence and Dawson are getting great opportunities, and both of them could turn out to be really good players for this program. Bowen has to get it up, swatted away by Hawkins. Oh, great recovery. Fell to Indiana on Tuesday, flew back to Rutgers, came back yesterday to Champaign. Hawkins passed up the three, driving a dunk. He's talking about Illinois get to the rim. Four to shoot. It's Epps for three. Too strong. Harris tries to keep it alive and does. Coleman Hawkins now fouled and one. Tend to shoot for Fug. Andrew Fug. A rare drive and a two-hand swat by Hawkins. One of the best shot blockers in the Big Ten. Game number one in the country. It's not number just one, one here, guy. Yes. I mean, you talked about Lundy being a pro. Coleman Hawkins is a pro as well. He done in this first half. Oh, oh, wow. And the finish. Oh, man. That's, they're going to get him for taunting, but that is just an unbelievable play by Coleman Hawkins. He'll shoot the another. He'll shoot another. Right. Misses the game time shot at Indiana, but his teammates believed him, and then he responds to that. And another slam. This one, one for Hawkins. Let's get a purple t-shirt right buoy on it. White marker. Up ahead. Nice break in Harris. Got Hawkins. Go. Got to go to work against Nicholson. Hawkins drives inside. And gets the bucket as the shot clock goes off in the background. How physical you've got to play at this level. Every possession. They've had two poor offensive possessions. Three. And Hawkins has been the, the guy that has stolen it each time. Oh, man. Out the bucket and then sub. I talked to him before the game about how many little things he does to help. 
This is eerily similar to the Northwestern game. Easy, isn't it? Getting down big in the first half. Hawkins up top. Three on the shot clock. Hawkins step back three. Got it. Harris Reed, really nice job. Getting up and underneath Hawkins. The top step back. Hawkins hits it anyway. Shannon's yet to make a field goal, but he's done a nice job of running this team. He's playing the point. Whoa! Hawkins! Another Illinois stop! Downhill, be the aggressor. Shot fake, forced to close out. Wow, well, Purdue is locked in defensively. Hawkins got a fly by and a drive, and he scores. <laughs> Hasn't been to the foul line today. Hawkins down the baseline. Meyer up top. Got it for three. Great offense. Man, people are slipping all over the yeah. floor. Hawkins again with a fadeaway. Great camp he has for those two shooters especially, and also DQ Cole when he comes off the bench. Greg Campy wants to see at least six threes a game out of him. Hawkins inside to Rogers. Pump fake. Layup for two. Still in the air and now taken by Kolick. Tyler Kolick down the lane. That's swatted by Hawkins. Denied. Shannon down the lane. He scores. Flowed in. The Illini defense is giving them reasons. This is Coleman Hawkins. Get that out of here. Shot clock at eight. Hawkins against Hyatt. Bounce pass. Gary A. Baseline and throws it down. Over Antoine Wolfo. And then you've got a point forward playing point guard. <laughs> it is. Ty Rogers. It's a team that can invert their offense and just gives teams a different look. And Hawkins can do that too. He's got a smooth stroke. He's already two made threes tonight. Assist. He's got two steals on the night. Hawkins. Oh, that's what he saw there and drilled a three. Which looked like a big red flag for Illinois early on in the game. Coleman Hawkins starts things off with another three-pointer for Illinois. Yeah, they start off the half with a little twirl action. Good, he already got one. Ooh, almost had the second. Hawkins got fouled and scored. So I understand where even though he has a good individual game, it's not anything if you don't win the game. Swatted by Hawkins. Leads Harmon out in the break. Right back from Danger for two. How about the touch by Dane Danger? Not just to run the floor. It is fun for us to watch. Two guys that have spent a ton of time together. In four years with the Saluki program, so they know each other well. Good finish inside by Luke Goody. Gary A. Dumps it down into Hawkins. Skip to the corner, Harmon open, yes! And there's the first three of the night for Illinois. Boy, that's been Justin Harmon's spot. They get caught late on this one. Hole on the offensive glass. Oh, oh goodness, that was a foul. Yeah, Hawkins got away with that. Pretty yeah. low. Yep. Rizzo's gonna get a timeout. The team is resilient. The slap, the look, talk about Hawkins, his contribution, draws one. Where Julian Reese's lack of right hand hurts him there. And Hawkins, this is what he can do all the way to the rim for two, and a chance for one more at the line. What a sequence right there for Coleman Hawkins. Seven to shoot. And they need to get their booty in gear as Hawkins with a deep three, and he splashes it home. Oh, man. And he made it. Yeah, and as you said, Kevin, you had to call the night. What happened? He got his booty in gear. Llewellyn tried to keep it alive. Hawkins took it away. Ahead it goes to Harmon. To the rim for two. And just like that, Illinois has opened up a nine-point lead. Three. Coleman Hawkins comes up with a steal at Justin Harmon. Drives. Lost his foot. Illinois has a five on four. Shannon Love! Immediate impact as he finds Hawkins! Well, that's what Terrence Shannon can do there. A 7-0 run for Illinois. And it's safe to say this is just something that Illinois does not have if Terrence Shannon is not on the floor. The and look who grabs a rebound. It's Ty Rogers. And here's Shannon, another assist! And Steve Peichel takes a timeout. Everybody else, you know, that, that's kind of clumped up behind. And they would own two massive wins against Purdue and Illinois if they do it, but Hawkins trying to put a stop to that. It was a two-point game at halftime. Two
point game right now. Back door, Bowie. Hawkins recovers. Mask was shot ready, declined. Hawkins on Renew. He's Renew got two can, fouls. He cannot foul here. Hawkins wants him to. Hawkins leaning in. And, and scoring. And that really affected the way he guarded right there. Some of his most consistent basketball of his career. This is well done. Just being patient. I have is very impressive. Good match up there with Hawkins and Key. And this is blocked away as Hawkins came over to help. I think the message has been sent and see how Illinois responds. Got Justin Harmon in there, number four for the Illini. Hawkins hits the three. That's a good sign for Illinois. Coleman Hawkins dealt with foul trouble in Columbus and he took three shots. Now this play. The steal and the jam. That's an area where he has gotten so much better. Illinois trying to keep pace. Coleman Hawkins a terrific first half for the Illini, but the home team down by two at the break to Nebraska. Domas is going to try and back him down. Draws the double team, locates Harmon. They swing it around to Hawkins. Another three. Do a good job. Once they pass out of that double team, obviously somebody has to be open. That time, Coleman Hawkins. Shannon looks up. He's got a three on one. Leave it. Hawkins. Extra. Great feed. And Rogers finishes. Boy, that's, that's, that's fun to watch. When the ball... And Illinois will continue on, which leads to Damask in the corner bluffing a three. Hawkins, two on the drive. Aggressive to score. Here on this on campus facility that is almost 100 years old. Damask had a nice first half. Ty Rogers didn't play the last 10 minutes with two fouls. And he sent it out to Hawkins for three. Yeah, two really good offenses going at it. Kind of mirror images defensively. Underperforming defenses, really good offenses. And Coleman Hawkins gets the day started. Well, that's something that he has done well. Hawkins pulls and knocks in another. They, they are really looking to put Ben Fricky. Marcus Damask honored before the game, got a 2,000 point ball. Not a lot of those handed out as Coleman Hawkins picking it right up as he hits the deep three. Well, look at the ball movement here. And Pharrell Payne is like, wait a minute. Great footwork by Pharrell Payne. I know that the fans thought he traveled, but that was not a trial. It was a heck of a move. There's Hawkins. And count it with the foul, sending him to the line. Now for Hawkins, Stephen. And it, this is when you know he's aggressive. It doesn't seem like they're assertive. Looking for his shot. Here's Hawkins. Shot clock at five. Another good defensive stand for the Badgers, but Hawkins still able to get two. To go against AJ Store. Yeah, this Illinois team plays with great spacing, and once they get the mismatch that they want, Hawkins they're able to take advantage. Great defense by Zach Eady that time on the anticipation. Lawyer attacks, can't finish. Good defense by Gary. Numbers the other way. Here comes Illinois. Hawkins. Attack mode. Leave it. Rogers. With Kaufman, Ren, Jones, Lawyer, and Morton. Hawkins looking to take advantage. The pump, drive, up and under. Oh, oh. he puts it in! Counted and a foul! In the first half, and he's passed because Zach was waiting for him. Zach's not in there now. He gets creative at the rim. That's a nice finish. I thought Perkins created enough space, but Terrence closed quickly on the release. Hawkins hanging and finishing, and it's 8 to nothing. That's pretty. And then Coleman Hawkins doesn't want to get left out of the party. Battle wants it again. Hey! Blocked by Coleman Hawkins! But way to foul. Shot clock at seven. Damask. Kick out. Long one. Hawkins put it on the board. It's a three. And Rev, he's been quiet tonight. Shannon does. That is a cut pass. Gary A, the layup, no! Tapped outside. Here's AJ Store in the open floor. Euros denied. It's Hawkins. Do not go in there. Undeterred. A beautiful move, but a better block right there by Hawkins. Great timing. Didn't foul him. Wow. High level. High level oh. indeed.